Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my luxury indulgences. Happy New Year to everybody. Hope your year is going well so far. It is the week of February 13th, which is my birthday. So I am in a very good mood and I'm turning a fabulous age. Let's see if you can guess. <laughs> Anyway, today's review on jewelry is going to be for, focused on Van Cleef and Arpels, VCA, and I'm going to focus on the Frivol line. Sorry, I'm trying to focus in here, and um, I don't know why. There we go. Today's focus is going to be on Frivol, which is a beautiful, one of my favorite lines from VCA. Everybody knows Van Cleef, VCA, as for their Alhambra pieces, which are the clover motif, which are an iconic piece created in 1969 and been going strong ever since with crazy price increases. We won't go there for this review. But I wanted to focus on one of my favorite things. It's yellow gold, it's whimsical, classy, elegant, and very, very feminine. And that is the Frivol line. So I'm gonna focus on two pieces today. One is the ring, the between the finger ring, and that is very iconic for Van Cleef. And the other is the earrings. So let's talk about the packaging. When you go to the boutique, they give you a very nice box, um, inner and outer box. This is the outer box, it's a nice, hard white box and this is the inner box it is green it's one of their signature colors which is like a sage green you open it up and it has the black velvet inside and oops here's some pretties these are my earrings so that is the beautiful packaging and then you also get the carrier bag in the states we have a signature flagship boutique that is on 57th and 5th Avenue which is adjacent to the Bergdorf building actually it is in the Bergdorf building so it is um, it is part of Bergdorf building but not owned by Bergdorf so now that we know about the packaging, let's get started on the pieces. The Frivol line comes in white gold, yellow gold, white gold with diamonds. I love yellow gold. <laughs> it's funny, I'm starting to get back into a little bit of white gold. I saw a, um, a piece that I liked in uh, white gold and I thought it was stunning. They were the three motif earrings and they had the chalcedony and the um, the gray and white mother of pearl and they were just so icy and pretty but I still love the warmth of the yellow. So there's two sizes in the earrings and these are the large size earrings. They come in the small and they come in the large and I love that the ring echoes the same size as the earring. So if you put it together it looks like it could be a set of earrings right here. The Frivol is a flower. It is a 3D type of flower, and that's why I love it. When you put this up to your ear, it just, it catches light. It has diamonds in the center. The small earrings and the small part of the ring have one diamond. The large earring and the large um, motif on the ring have three diamonds in the center. And I'm sorry, I can't recall the points of the diamonds, but it, it might be on the website. I will attach the website below so you can take a look at the pieces. So the earrings come in two sizes, in the yellow gold, but in white gold, they only come in the small, which is really unfortunate because the large earrings make such an impact. They light up your face. I don't know if this is catching in the camera, but you can see they're just so blingy it's not even from the diamonds either it's the mirror like shiny reflective surface of the yellow gold so these are ear clips and what is nice about this is they're for pierced ears and then they have the French back and then they have a little uh, clip on them that shows you which side see this little nub which side you should be wearing them so this would be the left side because it's pointing left and honestly, they're a little tight. I never got them adjusted. A lot of people get them adjusted, and I never did. Um, 
I could still get them adjusted. I haven't even worn them that much, but um, I don't even think you could see the signature. Anyway, they say the um, serial number, every piece is stamped with the insignia of VCA and the 750, which is 18 karat gold in Italy, and I'm sorry, in Europe. So the large earrings and the between the finger ring. So I love the earrings because I honestly am a hoop girl. I, I'm not kidding, I wear my hoops all the time. They're simple to me, they're comfortable. I, I don't, I, I'm not gonna even tell you when I grew up, but I grew up in like a part of period where everybody wore hoops, you know, it's just hoops make an outfit to me. So for me to go get a stud, it was really shocking. So I got the Freevol stud earrings because they make an impact. This baby makes such a beautiful impact. It brightens up your face. It makes your face look even better with, when you're wearing your makeup and your hair. I have really long dark hair and not that many earrings show up on me, but these babies do. So let's put the other earring back here. And what I love about Van Cleef is they give you a little cloth to um, polish your jewelry with. This can be washed with um, a mild soap and water, just like any other, you know, yellow gold can. Some people prefer to like use a toothbrush. I'm really baby my jewelry. Um, when the pieces are done, they go back in their little box. <laughs> you know, I like to treat everything really nice. So I just want to talk a little bit. So you know I love my Cartier, and if you look at Cartier, it has such a a minimalistic, edgy vibe, and I love pairing it with the feminine vibe of the Frivol. So what I love about this ring, I'm gonna be honest and say that this ring is probably one of my favorite pieces of jewelry. <sighs> I mean, I love my engagement ring so much, but I love this ring. I've worn it as a wedding ring before. I wear it as a right hand ring. It's just stands out. Ooh, it makes me happy. Oh, another thing, these pieces are heavy. They've got some beautiful, <laughs> you know it's hot mess videos up in here. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> oh, I swear, I'm not drunk. Anyway, and for people below who are gonna like, you know, say something and be like, you're drunk or, you know, do it better. I'm sorry, I, I have, you know, two hands, one hand's holding the camera, one hand's doing the rest, you know. I'm no way a professional at this, but I just, I want to share it because I would want to search for the same thing on YouTube, so I'm just putting out there what I would want to see. Okay, I had to make the disclaimer because sometimes I get um, people that are um, not happy with the way I do things, but I guess that's the nature of the beast if you're putting yourself out there, and I understand that. Okay, so what I was saying, they're very weighty, and I would never want to spend the money on a piece of jewelry that did not have the heft, did not have the weight, and wasn't worth it to me. So I'm gonna take off my wedding and um, engagement ring. And I am going to put on the ring so you can see, and I like to face the flower on the outside. So let's see how it stacks up with the Cartier. So this is the ring. And do you see how you got the vibe of the um, very modern, streamlined, industrial look, and then you have the feminine look. So that is the ring. And like I said, the small motif, the small floor, is carried on into the earring, so you can get a pair of earrings. I hope this helps for somebody that is looking. Here, let's just take the polishing cloth, and I just got a whole bunch of fingerprints. Let's. Okay, I hope this helps somebody decide um, for the ear clips because um, the ear clips are so famous and everyone wants to know, should I get the small or the large? Unfortunately, I'm not going to hold them up to my ear. Um, I'm going to need somebody else to help me with that kind of video and I will do that, I promise. It might take five years, but I will do it. <laughs> anyway, this is the small floor and then this is the large. The between the finger rings are I iconic for Van Cleef. They are something very unique. In fact, I've never really found a um, high jewelry line that does them. And this, I tried on the Alhambra between the finger ring and it did not look good. It looks beautiful on long, slender fingers, which I do not have. So this ring is my favorite piece of jewelry. When I put it on, 
I just, I can't stop staring at it. It just makes me so happy in the sun. It just blings. It's pretty. It's feminine. It's comfortable. It, that's the whole thing. It's really comfortable. So you always want to wear the little floor um, on the outside. My ring is getting too big for me. I am losing weight and this is now, my right hand is bigger than my left. So I'm upset because to resize a between the finger ring is about $2,000, which is crazy. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, let's see. Back to Freeville. Let's see if there's any other points that I can make. Okay, let's talk about the maintenance of the product because I'm not going to lie. I've seen some pieces for sale on secondhand sites and they look terrible. And people always think that that's going to happen to their piece. Well, I don't know about you, but anything I buy is not a throwaway piece. It's an investment for me and it is not cheap. So I like to take really good care of my things and I like to put them back in the box. When I'm wearing it, I'm very careful. I mean, I'm not gonna go into a mosh pit wearing Freeville Van Cleef jewelry. You know, I'm going to be going out to dinner. I'm gonna be shopping. I'm gonna have, you know, a party. It's, you know, I'm not gonna garden in a piece of jewelry like this. I'm not gonna work out, <laughs> work out, ha ha ha. I'm not going to, I have everyday jewelry and every I know people say wear your wear your your jewelry more but I do. I'm one of those people that do like to save it for special occasions. I don't know why. I guess because it is investment for me. Like I if say I'm running to the supermarket, I'm really not going to put this on. Although I could and it would be fine, but I'm going to be honest with you. This is going to show scratches. It's going to get a patina. Some people like the patina of their yellow gold. I don't. If you look at my Cartier, it doesn't have patina on it. And if it did, I would get it polished out. And when it does, I will. And some people like that look. But I think that the longer it stays, um, and I know dropping my jewelry is bad, so I know somebody's going to comment on that. It, it happens. I'm a human, you know. Um, anyway, the longer I keep it pristine, the nicer it's going to be. It makes me happy to see the high shine. If it had all scratches on it, I wouldn't be happy. So this is the earrings and you can see, clip right onto the ear, look gorgeous, look stunning. And this is the ring. I love this ring so much. I remember wearing it out one night and um, I had it on my wedding, on my ring hand and I was talking to a gentleman, actually it turned out to be not so much of a gentleman. And he was like, oh, I didn't know you were, you know, you were married. You have this flowers on your hand. So whatever. I like to wear my jewelry how I like to wear it. If I want to wear this on my wedding hand, I'm going to wear this on my wedding hand. I still am married. I know I'm married. Whatever. You don't have to be such a traditionalist. I am with the way I keep my things though. So I hope that if anybody wants to get a piece of Freeval, they do invest in the small or the large ear clips. You can see there's quite a difference. I think the small would be, if I had the small, I kind of would want the small too, the small ear clips, because I would wear them every day. I would just throw them on with a pair of jeans and a sweater. I think the Freeval large, you can do that, but with the small, I feel like it would be less you know, with my hair in the way, I think it would just be like an easier to wear look and easier to maintain. <sighs> so that's it. If anybody has any questions, and you can see this is kind of curved, and that's how it's um, a between the finger. So it actually lays between both fingers and it is open. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. I'll put it next to the black. You can see the ring is open. And I've seen some people stretch them open, but you don't want to do that with the gold. So this is my set. I was going to get the necklace as well, but then I thought, hmm, I can do necklace and ring. I could do necklace and, you know, something else. I just couldn't do necklace, earring, and uh, ring. It would be too much. I, I keep calling these earrings. They're actually called ear clips. And my next Van Cleef purchase, I would like to get the Super Ear Clips in the Alhambra and the Onyx and um, the Ten Motif Onyx Necklace, which everybody goes for this first. I mean, this is, everybody does this first, but I, I don't know. I was just drawn to this. How to have it. 
fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. To me, it's very pretty. I hope everyone enjoyed this video. And I'm sorry, it's not perfect. And it could be better. And maybe it will be if I, uh, if I decide to get a camera up. And then you can see my ugly mug. And I could try everything on. So if anybody has any questions about Frivol, please post them below. And I love to talk jewelry. Thank you for people who have mentioned other YouTubers with jewelry. I know this is long-winded and I'm rambling and rambling and rambling. Thank you for people who have turned me on to other jewelry lovers and their videos. I watched them and enjoyed them. So have a great day and I will be back with some shoes. Yep, I'm going to do a shoe haul. And then I want to do... Um, the tag that's going around the five favorite luxury things because I think that's fun. Okay, bye.